little pigs sang lo, lo, lo. One built a house with a bundle of straw. Three little pigs sang lo, lo, lo. One built a house with a bundle of straw. A wolf came along and began knocking. Knock, 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 knock. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll hop and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. Puff, puff. With a bundle of sticks, two little pigs were in a fix. One built a house with a bundle of sticks. A wolf came along and began knocking. Knock, 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 knock. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. Huff, puff. Quick, quick, quick! He built his house with a load of bricks. One little pig screamed, Quick, quick, quick! He built his house with a load of bricks. A wolf came along and began knocking. Knock, 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 knock! Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. Huff. But he could not blow the house down, and the three little pigs lived happily in the brick house. Through the woods and woke a sleeping lion. Angrily he grabbed that mouse. She was scared and crying. She said, If you let me go, I'll help you someday. Soon you'll see. When you need me, I'll be there. You'll count on me. The lion and the mouse, the lion and the mouse. This is the story of the Lion said, You tiny thing, what could you do for me? Tell you what, ha <laughs> ha, you made me laugh, so I will set you free. Thank you. Next day, Lion stalked his prey, but on his way back home, he walked into a trap, he was captured and alone. The lion and the mouse, the lion and the mouse. The lion and the mouse, the lion and the mouse, the lion and the mouse. This is the story of the lion and the mouse. Tiny mouse heard lions roar and scurried to the scene. She gnawed the rope, released the lion, and said, Now we're a team. Lion answered, I was wrong to laugh because you're small. If it weren't for you, I would not be here at all. The lion and the mouse, the lion and the mouse, best friends forever, the lion and the mouse. The lion and the mouse, the lion and the mouse, best friends forever, the lion and the mouse. The lion and the mouse, the lion and the mouse, this is the story of the lion and the mouse. The lion and the mouse. 
Once upon a time there were three billy goats They went across a river but hadn't any boats Look over there, there's a bridge, can you see? We'll cross to the hills where the grass grows free Billy Goat, he first began to cross Trip, trap, trip, trap, the bridge made a noise Who's there tripping over my bridge? Said a troll from below and came up close Going to gobble you, said the troll of the river. Little goat said, I'm tiny, my brother's much bigger. Wait a little bit, he's going to come through. The troll said, Hmm, be off with you. Meh, meh, meh. <laughs> the second billy goat, he began to cross. Trip, trap, trip, trap, the bridge made a noise. Who's that tripping over my bridge? Said the troll from below and came up close. <laughs> I'm going to gobble you, said the troll of the river. The goat said, I'm small, my brother's much bigger. Wait a little bit, he's going to come through. The troll said, mm, be off with you. The big billy goat then began to cross Trip, trap, trip, trap, the bridge made a noise Who's that tripping over my bridge? Said a troll from below and came up close <laughs> I'm going to gobble you, said the troll to the goat The goat stared at him, made a noise with his throat Charged with his horn and knocked the troll down. The three billy goats lived happily then. <laughs> meh, 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 meh. <laughs> Once there lived three grizzlies. Bears in the house in the forest. Papa bear, mama bear, baby bear sat down to eat their porridge. Mm, much too hot. Proud Papa bear, let's go and walk in the forest. That's when Goldilocks came by, found their house in the thicket. Knock, 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 no answer. So Goldie entered the kitchen. Mmm, smells good! She grabbed a spoon, though she had no permission. Papa Bear's porridge, way too hot. Mama Bear's porridge, way too cold. Baby Bear's porridge, just right, just right, just right. After Goldie had her fill, she felt lazy and tired. In the living room she spied chairs of three different sizes they look quite inviting so goldie thought she'd try them papa bear's chair way too hard mama bear's chair way too soft baby bear's chair just right just right just right just as goldie settled in that chair broke into pieces Goldie went upstairs and found three nice beds she could sleep in. They looked quite inviting, so Papa's bed she creeped in. Papa Bear's bed, way too hard. Mama Bear's bed, way too soft. Baby Bear's bed, just right, just right, just right. Goldilocks fell fast asleep, three beds. Someone's been 
eating my porridge. Growled Papa, someone's been eating my porridge. Said Mama, someone's been eating my porridge. Cried Baby, and they ate it all up, ate it all up. They walked into the living room, and what do you think they noticed? Mm, someone's been sitting in my chair. Growled Papa, someone's been sitting in my chair. Said Mama, someone's been sitting in my chair. Cried Baby, and they broke it. In their bedroom now What do you think they noticed? Mm, someone's been sleeping in my bed Growled Papa Someone's been sleeping in my bed Said Mama Someone's been sleeping in my bed Cried Baby And there she is, there she is Goldilocks woke up and saw Three brown bears staring at her She screamed Help! Jumped out of bed and ran away with a clatter Down the stairs and through the door Gold is gone forevermore Our three bears, they scratched their heads Fixed the chair and made the beds And sat down to eat their porridge And that is the story of the three bears Once upon a time... No, wait! Okay, do you want to tell the story? <laughs> no, I just like saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time... Three little bears went out to play I build a house of straw today Said one little bear and just like that He built that house and then he took a nap but a mean old wolf woke him up. Oh, no! What? What? I'm a big bad wolf and I see you in there. Open the door, little bear, beware. Oh! He pounded the door. Let me come in. Not by the hairs of my berry chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And he did and he laughed with the worst laugh there's ever been. Instead of straw Out to play went two little bears My house will be made of twigs, see there? Said the second little bear and just like that He built that house and then he took a nap But once again that mean old wolf woke him up I'm a big bad wolf and I see you there Open the door little bear Pounded the door Let me come in Not by the hairs on my berry chin chin Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in And he did and he laughed with the worst laugh there's ever been <laughs> We're gonna have to build something that that mean old wolf can't blow down. Just one little bear, and she had to think quick. I make my house out of sturdy bricks, said the third little bear, and just like that, she built that house, and then she took a nap. And can you believe it? That nasty old wolf woke her up. I'm a big bad wolf, and I see you in there. Open the door, little bear, beware! No! Oh. He pounded the door! Let me come in! Not by the hairs of his very chin chin! Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in! And he tried and he tried and he tried again! <gasps> Sheesh! Get a hold of yourself! <gasps> Did he blow the house in? Not by the hairs of his chinny chin chin. <laughs> the bricks were too strong. <laughs> so what happened to the mean old wolf? He was never to be seen again. Wolves are like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs>
Mom, tell us the story of Jack and the Beanstalk. What's a beanstalk? Is that a kind of soup? <laughs> no, silly. It's a... I don't know. Well, let's find out. Long ago, Jack and his mom lived their life on a country farm. They were poor, not enough to eat, so they made a plan to make ends meet. Jack, go sell our cow, Bessie, and with the money we can grow more crops. On market day, Jack sold old Bess to a funny lass who was oddly dressed. Hello, young man. She politely bowed. I'll trade you beans for that milking cow. They're magic beans. Whoa. And they'll grow a crop as high as the sky. Wow. Jack went home to show his mom. But when she saw what he had done, she threw away the beans outside. Oh, Jack, just beans? Oh, my. She cried. But, but, mom. Magic. The next day where the beans did land, a giant beanstalk grew. Oh man! Jack climbed those twisty vines so high, and found a castle in, in the, the sky. sky. Whoa! Look at that! But when he went inside the place, a big fat giant with an ugly face came thumping in so very loud. Shook the heavens and the clouds. I fall from a small hub boy Yum, yum, yum! was so frightened that he hid in the cupboard while the giant counted his gold. When the big old giant fell asleep, Jack escaped with gold to keep. Decided he'd go back up there. But first I'd better say a prayer. Oh please, oh please, keep me safe from the mean old giant. He climbed up to the castle and hid inside. Aha! He said, the giant's pride. Golden eggs from that little house. The giant counted at least ten. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, what comes after five? Feed five, four, four. I smell a boy. Yum, yum, yum. Feed five, four, four. Ready or not, here I come. Uh, uh, oh, yikes. <gasps> Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Oops. <laughs> Wrong story. Jack was fast and acted quick. He grabbed that fine white little hand. Bah, bah. Even grabbed a singing harp. And climbed down that stalk again. La la. But the giant came thundering after Jack and threw himself on the beanstalk. When I got home, I grabbed an axe and chopped that beanstalk all the way down. And that big old giant went hurtling off. Never, Never ever to be found. With the hen's golden eggs, Jack and his mom could now live a good life. Jack's mom was proud and made a feast, and neighbors came from near and far. The harp played songs and sang along. Jack, you are a shining star. Jack, you are a star. So, did they make beanstalk soup? No, but now they had a hen that laid golden eggs. Oh, but... You could break your teeth on those. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Joey. Tell us the Goldilocks story again. I want to play Goldilocks this time. Because, because... <laughs> okay, that'll be funny. Out for a walk went Goldilocks. In the woods she saw a house. I'd like to go in and see what's there. I'll be quiet as a mouse. Oh, the three bears. Right through the door went Goldilocks. And what did she first see? A table full of scrummy food. Yum! Porridge! One, two, three. Oh! But the first one was too cold. Three bear chairs. 
Oh my! And the second one was too small. Ooh, too tight. But the third one was just right. Oh, this is the best of all. Oh, oh, oopsie daisy. Oh my! When she plunked into the chair, it broke into a million pieces. Oh my, look what I did. <laughs> oh, well, this adventure has made me so sleepy. I think I need a nap. Goldilocks climbed the stairs to a bedroom with three beds. <gasps> wow, look at that. I think I'll rest my head. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. too lumpy. Oh, ow! And the second one squishy, too. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> but the third one was just right. Oh, this will do. <sighs> While Goldilocks snored away, the three bears came back home. The front door was wide open. Oh, dear, it looks like we're not alone. Eating my porridge. Oh, someone's been eating mine too. And somebody's finished my every drop. That was mine, thank you. Oh dear. Hmm. Someone's been sitting in my chair. Oh, someone's been sitting here too. Uh oh. Guess what? My chair is broke. And that was good bamboo. I think I hear something upstairs. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. And wouldn't you know it, mine too. And someone's been, look, she's in my bed. Oh dear, who are you? Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> Thanks for everything. Goldie raced into the woods and hid from everyone. The bears could not believe their eyes. The bears could not believe their eyes. That really happen? <laughs> no, it's just a fairy tale. Oh, but where are the fairies? <laughs> <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Story time, everyone. How about Little Red Riding Hood? <gasps> yeah! I want to pretend that I'm Little Red, <laughs> and I'll be the Big Bad Wolf. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure Wookie likes that idea. Everyone ready? Yeah! yeah. There once was a girl all dressed in red Who went to her grandma's sickly bed She's not feeling well, so I'll cut through the dell And visit Gran for a short little spell now remember, don't talk to any strangers. I promise. Mama gave Red some special teas. Grandma's very favorite cheese. But in the woods, a wolf stopped Red. Well, hello, my dear. You're going where? He said, um, you're a stranger, right? I'm not really supposed to talk to you. But I'm off to Grand. She's sick in bed. I've brought some cheese and Fresh baked bread. Then Red took off, but the wolf was smart. He knew the way to Grand's by heart. <laughs> I'm smarter than the average wolf. <laughs> the wolf sneaked into Grandma's place. I'll hide you so there's not a trace. He locked her in, got into bed with Granny's nightcap on his head. Help me! Poor Granny cried. Why come in, dear? Why, Grand? Said Red, and she walked right in. Oh, I've been wondering how you've been. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay. But she sounded weird. Uh, Granny, since when do you have a beard? Oh. <laughs> Granny has a beard. <laughs> Uh-oh.
the better, my dear, to eat you with! <gasps> no! <laughs> no! Uh, no! Say that to my face! The better to eat <gasps> you with! Oh! Oh! <laughs> On second thought, no, no! Cried Little Red Riding Hood And a huntsman burst in from the woods He broke the door And he grabbed that beast Why, I'll give you a pow! To say the least! You're a big, bad, hairy wolf! And you better stop being a bully or you won't have any friends! Uh, huh. <laughs> well, the huntsman let poor Granny out And Little Red just blurted out I talked to a stranger Confess, Little Red I've learned my lesson now She said She learned her lesson now, she said Wow, that big bad wolf sure learned his lesson. Uh -huh. He sure did. And they sent him away and he never came back. See what happens to big bad bullies? Indeed. Now what's the moral of the story? <gasps> never let a wolf know if you have fresh baked bread and special <laughs> cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, whose turn is it to tell a story? It's my turn, and I'm going to tell the story of the lion and the mice. <gasps> Don't you mean mouse? <laughs> Not this time, because you're all going to be the little mice. Oh. A mighty, mighty lion lay sleeping in his lair. Three little mice came creeping by and stared. One accidentally brushed up against the lion's paw. Yikes! Sorry, Mr. Lion. Uh, there ought to be a law. Oh, sorry. I, I hope I didn't hurt you. The lion drew his paw back and dropped it on the mouse. Oh. The other mice were frightened and squealed. You mouse! I beg you, Mr. Lion, kindly hear my plea. I promise to repay you if you'll only set me free. I guess I could say yes, but only just this time. Now scatter with your friends and I'll pay you no mind. <gasps> oh, thank you, Mr. Lion. I'm forever in your debt. I guess not every lion is really such a threat. <laughs> <laughs> Go away. <laughs> You're swell. So the great big lion let the little mouse go. Phew, that was scary. But that wasn't the end of the story. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, do tell. <laughs> yeah, go on. <laughs> well, the lion went to hunting and wound up in a net. He paced and paced and growled and then began to fret. He roared so very loud that the three mice heard his cry. Is that your friend the lion? He's in trouble, me oh my! Hold on to your horses, I mean lions, we're coming to the rescue! Captured in the net, the lion paced and cried. Unafraid, the little mice clambered to his side. They nibbled a big hole and became the lion's guide. Well, what do you know? These little mice have now become my pride. <laughs> We're friends. <laughs> friends to the end. Nice, mousey. <laughs> friends are just like family and family just like friends. I always keep my promises on that you can depend. The lesson here is friendship, Mr. Lion C. Friendship is a gift that Always sets you free! So, so is this a story about lions that get trapped? <laughs> no, silly. It's about friendship and, mm -hmm. and kindness. It sure is. <laughs> it's about always being there for your friends. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Sweet.
Let's tell the story of the boy and the wolf and the sheep. Oh, the little boy who cried wolf. Why would he cry wolf? <laughs> because he didn't know how to say wah. <laughs> Joey, <laughs> why don't you pretend to be the shepherd boy and tell us all about it? <laughs> sure. I'm a shepherd boy who tends his sheep. I try hard not to fall asleep. Cause sometimes it can get real slow watching all this green grass grow. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. <laughs> I think I'll play a little joke on all the local towny folks. I'll pretend a wolf came by, chased my sheep, and made them cry. <laughs> The villagers came out to see The boy and sheep were quite carefree The boy just laughed <laughs> I was kidding, guys! But this was not a fun surprise Shame on you for making us all worry We thought you and your flock were in trouble Oh, it was just a joke Can't you take a joke? <laughs> The next day passed and night dragged on The boy made a plan in early dawn <laughs> I'll do it all again today So I'm not bored And he laughed away <laughs> <laughs> Help me, help me A wolf appeared It chased my sheep We're all afeard <gasps> Oh dear Sounds like trouble so once again villagers climbed the hill to see the sheep were fine The boy laughed <laughs> I was kidding guys I think you better apologize Yeah! Say you're sorry! You tricked us again! That's just not nice! You lied to us! <laughs> it was just a joke! The villagers were not happy but the shepherd boy thought it was funny that he once again tricked the townspeople. You bet. One fine day while with his flock, a wolf appeared. The boy was shocked. He cried out to the village folks. Help me, please. This is not a joke. Ah, la -di -da. Would you like another cup of tea? Don't mind if I do. But no one paid attention then. Thought it was a joke again. They ignored the shepherd's plea Just relaxed and drank their tea Hey, this is not funny Help me, help me, a wolf appeared It's chased my sheep, we're all afeard But sadly, no one came The shepherd boy realized that no one believed him anymore the boy came running into town Everybody gathered round He's the one who made us mad I'm sorry I behaved so bad I really am I've learned my lesson And I'll never lie again Fit through. 
through the door. Now she could find adventures galore. There's a caterpillar on that big mushroom. I wonder if he's nice or if he's rude. Hello, little Alice. You're here at last. I'm a wise caterpillar. Let's have a chat. You're really quite pretty and very smart. But stay away from the Queen of Hearts. Stay away from the Queen? I can do that. Beans out 
something to eat. She cooked some breakfast for the boy, but at the door there was a giant noise. Three, five, four, boy. I smell a little boy. Smell a little boy. Jack got scared and ran away. He grabbed the golden egg on his way. He climbed back down the green bean stalk and gave the egg to his mom. The very next day, he climbed to the sky. He found a golden harp in the castle up high. Three, five. Oh boy, I smell a little boy! Jack got scared and ran away, but the giant chased him all the way. He climbed down the beanstalk really fast and chop, chop, chopped it down. Now Jack Happily ever after, happily ever after. Jack and the Beanstalk, yeah, yeah, yeah. The end. Yay! Do you guys know the story of Little Red Riding Hood? Sure we do, and it's my favorite. Once upon a time in the woods, there lived a little girl, Red Riding Hood. Had to visit Grandma, sick in bed. So off she went with a basket of bread. side of the woods. Wolfie arrived at Grandma's house, crept through the door like a little mouse. Grandma saw the wolf, then she screamed, oh! and ran into the closet so she couldn't be seen. I will wait just right here for Little Red Riding Hood to appear. Clever wolf I am to pretend that I am dear grandma sick in bed. <laughs> I hope Red Riding Hood gets here fast and rescues me. This wolf is bad. Just then, Red Riding Hood arrived at grandma's house. She opened the door and walked right up to her grandma's bed. Grandma, I am here, poor thing in bed. I brought you some yummy bread. Dear, I'm feeling sick. Come a little closer, take a look. Grandma, you don't seem yourself. What can I do to help? I must have a nasty bug. Climb on the bed and give me a hug. Grandma, what big eyes you have. Big eyes to see you. Grandma, what big ears you have. Big ears to hear you. Grandma, what big teeth you have. Big teeth to eat you. <laughs> Poor little.
Little Red Riding Hood. Thankfully, a lumberjack was passing by and heard her cry. He broke down the door and came inside. What's going on? Are you okay? I heard you scream from far away. Hey, big bad wolf, get out of here. And don't you come back. It's okay.
done for telling the truth, Mark. Yep, no more crying wolf for this boy. <laughs> wow, what a great big lion! And look at that tiny little mouse. I wonder if they're friends. Let's tell the twins the story of the lion and the mouse. Yeah! The lion and the Little did 
let Goldilocks know she had just entered the house of the three bears. Wow, look over there, a table of food. Great, cause I am in the mood for a big bowl of porridge just for me. Hey, there's one! Wait, there's two! No, look! There's three! Papa Bear's porridge! That's too hot! Mama Bear's porridge! That's too cold! Baby Bear's porridge! Mmm, huh. just right! After Goldilocks had eaten her fill of porridge, she was feeling full and wanted to rest her feet. Papa Bear's chair looked much too hard. Mama Bear's chair looked much too soft. Baby Bear's chair was the final one. Hmm, let's see. Oh, wowee! This one's just right. But Goldie was too heavy for Baby Bear's chair, and so... decided to go upstairs to lay down her golden head. Papa Bear's bed looked much too hard. Mama Bear's bed looked much too soft. Baby Bear's bed was the final one. Hmm, let's see. Oh, wowee! This one's just right. Just as Goldie fell asleep, the three bears returned home to discover they were not alone. Someone's been eating Papa Bear's porridge. Someone's been eating Mama Bear's porridge. Someone's been eating babies too. Hmm, let's see. Oh, dearie me. Three bears chased her right out of their house. Yeah. <laughs>